All right, so we are now videoing on there as well. Um, whoever's watching this video, you can't see, but there is a baritone person over here and there is a trumpet person over here. They're out of shot. And I'm going to try not to use their actual names. So baritone person, uh, for today, your name will be Bob. Bob for baritone. Bobby. And trumpet person, your name will be Trixie Lee, because Trixie Lee starts with T like trumpet. It's a very clever system. So, um, Bob is going to play us a B flat, please. Bob, let's hear your B flat. Good. Um, Trixie Lee's... That's a terrible name. Um, unless your name is Trixie Lee. If your name is Trixie Lee, great name. Um, Trixie Lee's C note should sound the same as Bob's B flat and my B flat on trombone. Can we all have a nice relaxed sound? Ready? Lovely. And we are looking at the stair climbing exercise in the primer pack. Now, if you haven't got a primer pack here, I might have a bit. Basically, it's moving up and down following the alphabet. So for Bob and I, we're going to start with B flat, C, B flat, just three notes, up a step and back down. You happy with that, Bob? Yeah. Good. Now, Trixie Lee, you've got your stair climbing. You're looking at the very first row. Yep. C, D, C. And if you haven't played in ages, then your lips are going to feel weird as you do this. Let's try that together. Just three notes in a single breath. Ready? Good, really focus on relaxed breathing, keeping your throat nice and open. Good, have a look at your next line. If you haven't got it in front of you, this will go up to D now for baritone. B flat, C, D, C, B flat. So you're just adding on the next highest note. Um, up to E for trumpet. Same thing, here we go. Nice relaxed breathing. Ready. <laughs> This will be the third line on your stair climbing sheet. There is a video on YouTube for this as well. If you go to youtube.com or the app and type in music lessons with Mr. Taylor, you will be able to find my channel. And this is in the 2020 online beginning classes playlist. I think that's what it's called, something like that. Uh, but you'll find it stair climbing is what we're doing. So what's our next note up, Trixie Lee? G. Oh, even before that, the line before that? F. So we're going up to F for trumpet. Thank you, Tricky Lee. Great answer. Um, and Bob, what are we going up to for baritone? Um, third e. line. Up to E flat, first valve. Good. And on trombone, that'll be third position, E flat. First, sixth, fourth, third, and then back down. Here we go. Uh, third line. Ready. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. Wait, so what's the order again? Uh, I'll put it up on here for you, that'll yeah. be easier. Oh, Bob hasn't got a primer pack with him, so he's trying to do it by memory. So, Bob, will be going in black. That's a beautiful B flat, topic. C, D, oh, thank you. E flat, the next step will be an F note. So for our next one, let's, let's try this. We're gonna go to the fifth, fourth line. The last line of the stair climbing, I think it goes up to G for trumpet, as Trixie Lee said and goes up to F for baritone, and then reverse. Ta, 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 and back down. And the trick here is really keeping the lips tense as you move upwards and keeping your air moving fast enough. Because if you don't have enough air, I'm not ignoring you guys by the way, I'm, just, I'm speaking to whoever's watching this as well. Um, if you don't have enough air as you move up, your lips are gonna drop down too low and you'll go, Da, 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 da. And everything will come out low and fluffy. And we don't want that. Have a listen to this. Can you please tap your foot to this beat? And I'm going to play that whole five note pattern up and down. And for trumpet, this is C all the way up to G and back down. <laughs> and downwards smoothly. Um, you happy with the fingerings, the yeah. baritone? Cool. Here we go, let's try that together. If your note does drop down too low, that's okay. You can practice it at home. One, two, five notes. <laughs> Can you please 
please show me the fingering for D? D? You have to show me the fingering for E? For E? Yeah. Two. And then F? For one. Good. And G? No. Good. And now, can you do the same thing, but can we have our, your thumb kind of poking into the side of the trumpet rather than floating yeah. in the air? Good. So let's go through it. C, D, E, F, G. Beautiful. And a trick for valve people, this applies to everyone in the room except me, um, when you're playing with valves going up this pattern, you can keep your first finger pressed down for almost the whole thing. So from D on trumpet up to F, you just keep that first finger down the whole time. And for baritones, that means from C to D to E flat, you just keep that first finger down. You don't need to bounce it up and down. All right, if we do that one more time, please. Five notes up and down, C all the way up to G and back. B flat up to F and back, tense lips for the F and the G in particular. Good luck. One, two, last time, deep breath. <laughs> Watching the video, we are looking at let's get reading. There's a well, it's basically in pairs. Each line is written out for trumpet, and underneath it, it's written out for trombone and baritone. Unfortunately, the software didn't let me put trombone and baritone, it just says trombone. But we read the same music. If you have never read music before, um, this may look really complex, but it's not as hard as it seems. Um, Bob and Trixie Lee, I'm going to speak in front of the camera a bit um, just at the moment. I'm not ignoring you. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing as well. Um, the important things to know here, there are a couple of new symbols. We have seen notes that are just a circle before, called a semi-brief. They are held for four counts. We have seen notes that are a coloured in circle with a stick, which are a tar or a crotchet held for one count. And we've seen TTs, quavers. Um, the new thing on this sheet is whenever you see a little brick-shaped thing, so for example, um, after your very first note on the page, where it says B flat for Bob, and it says C for Trixie Lee, um, after that, you, you've got a bar line, and then a little brick-shaped thingy hanging from a line. Um, have either of you seen that thing before? A little brick hanging from a line? Do you know what it means? It means two counts rest. No, four counts. Good. Oh, well done. Yeah. Um, two counts rest looks almost the same. Yeah, fantastic. So, I don't know if you can see this on the video. That thing there, when it's hanging from the line, is four counts of rest or four counts of silence. And if it was sitting on the line, it would be two counts. Hmm, confusing. So, I'm going to sing at Bob, because it's pick on Bob day. Um, I'm going to sing the first three notes on our page, including having four counts of silence between them. And then he has to try and play them back to me the same way. You ready for this, Bob? It's going to be awesome. Have a listen to this. Here's my beat. It would sound like this. B, B. Then you'll see the note moves up. C. And then it repeats the C note, but I'm going to stop there. Can you please play on your baritone the first three notes on the page? Basically, long note, four counts of rest. Long note, four counts of rest and then you go up to the C. Can you try that for me? Rest, 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 rest. Good. Going up to C. Oh, 
great steady sound. And then the next note is written the same way as that C in the second space up. Um, for Trixie Lee on trumpet, her notes look a little bit different because instead of starting off on the second line of the five, your first note is on its own little added line underneath. Um, now, I don't know what experience you have, but basically, for us on trumpet, that note is C. So if you've played piano before, you might recognise the C. If you were forced to play recorder or xylophone in primary school, you might recognise that as C. But basically, whenever you've got your note on the little added line underneath, that's a C. Um, where you've got a D written, you'll notice that it's kind of written slightly higher underneath the bottom line. Um, it's a low C, so the C at the start of our statement. There is, yes, and that would be written in the third space up on the stave. Um, but for now, whenever it's on the little added line at the bottom, that is the low C that we use for our stair climbing. Okay. Cool, so can we try this all together? I've only written in the name of each note once. So for example, Trixie Lee has four beats of C note and then four beats of rest. Then there's another C. But I haven't written the letter C, because hopefully by then you're going, oh yeah, that looks the same as the other one, it's a C. Let's see if we can do that whole first line of music. Um, there's not really a good way for whoever's on the video to follow along, so we're just going to do that together, and I'll count us in, so that if they are watching, that they can try and play along with what we're doing. Good luck. This should sound a bit similar to our stair climbing, except we're doing each note twice. Here we go, first line of the page. This will be very tricky if you've never read music before. One, two, long notes. Rest, 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 same again. Good, going up a step. Ready? Good, nice D. Again and go. Rest, rest, going up again. Uh, Trixie Lee knows which one she's going to play because it's got the treble clef squiggle at the start, the very tall squiggly shape, whereas Bob knows that his is the one that looks a bit like a question mark with the two dots, the bass clef. So you're going to have to skip her music and go straight to your next bass clef line. Um, using your immense powers of deduction, what's your first note in your next line of music, Bob? Uh, On the very middle line. Like this one? Yeah, that one there. What, what would be the name of that? Have a look in the first line, see if you can find another one of it. Um, it would be D. Fantastic. And then you move down to C, and then you've got another C that doesn't have a letter written under it, and then you're back down to B flat. Um, Trixie Lee, what would the first note in your second line of music be called? E. E, fantastic. And you knew that because... Where's it sitting on the five lines? Yeah, the bottom of the five lines. Fantastic. Um, we're not going to do that whole thing again just now, because if you go home and watch the video, uh, this is called Let's Get Reading, and I think I did a trumpet version so you could hear a trumpet playing, and I think I did a low brass version where I played on trombone. You can play along, and I think it has like a daggy drum beat that you play along to. Um, can you please jump down to where it says, sing the next two lines, for example, C, 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 then play them on your instrument. And we are going to pick on, you know what, I'm going to pretend to be Trixie Lee for a moment. Uh, Trixie Lee, can you please pretend to be the teacher? All I need you to do is count me in by going one, two, three, four. Then I'll sing your notes, and every time there's a rest, can both of you please say, rest, 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 just to make sure that I get it right. Ready? So Trixie Lee's going to count us in, and then you guys are the rest shouters. Here we go, I'm going to sing Trixie Lee's notes. Count in please. One, two, three, four. C, 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 C. Rest, 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 rest. rest. C, 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 C. Rest, 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 rest. rest. D, 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 D. Rest, 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 rest. D, 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 D. Don't speed up. Good. D, D. Okay, you get the idea. Um, should we make Bob do the singing? Nah, let's just try playing it. It follows the same pattern as the first ones. Uh, Bob, your first note is B flat because it's on the second line up and it's got a little flat sign. And if the first of the four has the flat sign, then we treat all four of them as B flats, even though only the first one does. It's a, it's a funny thing. 
four seeds in a row, I'm sure you can handle this. Here we go, let's try playing the second half of the page. This is from C, 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 rest, 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 rest. That's for Trixie Lee. And Bob, you're starting on four B flats. What's my second row? Uh, your second group of four are Cs as well. And then your third group of four, um, they're just hanging underneath the line, which makes them Ds. Oh, okay. So hanging yeah, underneath is D, C. and sitting on the bottom line is E. Good luck. If you stuff up, that's fine. Are you doing the whole line? We're going to try and do both lines. So you're going to play all of the first line where you've got four crotchets in a row, play that whole line, and then you have to skip down to the very last line of the page. And once again, Trixie Lee is being ready to jump down to the line that has the treble back. Squiggle. Which line? So you play this whole line, and then yeah. you jump down to there. So you've got four more E's, four more D's, four more D's. Yep, so you're going to skip to there, and Bob is going to skip to the very bottom line of the whole page, which has a bass clef on it. So four more D's, yep. C's, 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 B's, yeah, cool. Great reading, everybody. If you've never done this before, it's really hard. If you have done this before and you're like, oh, this is so easy, um, that's okay, it'll get harder soon. Wait, I need to... And Trixie Lee's like, no, it's already hard. Don't make it harder. Um, Bob, what do I have to do to make each note start nice and clearly? Um, if you want to do your tongue. Yeah, so my tongue for each of these notes is going to be going... Ta 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 ta, so we get a smooth sound but a clear sound. Um, let's try it together. While Trixie Lee's writing some stuff down, Bob and I are going to try. Oh, no, You can take the, there's, there's a video for this, you can watch the video on my YouTube channel. Okay, um, just do it together one time. Okay, yeah, let's try it all together. Here we go. Um, can I hear your B flat and your C, please? <laughs> Type in music lessons with Mr. Taylor and then find what's this called? Let's get reading. And the link for the drum track will be in the description box underneath. Yeah. Thanks, everybody.